These are the Sunday recommendations for Patreon supporters, January 13th, 2019. The blog post this week is on the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges at dawn. Every year, my husband and I do an excursion to watch sunrise from the east end of the Brooklyn and Manhattan bridges. Since that means arriving at least half an hour before official sunrise, we typically do it when the days are shortest, in December or January. This blog post includes the best photos. Second recommendation, King Nielsen. The image on the left, I think of as Ski Fiercely, but the actual title is, So the Man Gave Him a Pair of Snowshoes. This is one of the illustrations for East of the Sun and West of the Moon, a collection that includes the title story, a version of Cupid and Psyche or Beauty and the Beast, and other Norwegian folk tales. Nielsen, who lived 1886 to 1957, was a Danish illustrator. He worked for Walt Disney from 1937 to 1941, contributing work to the Night on Bald Mountain and Ave Maria sequences of Fantasia. His career overlaps with those of Edmund Dulac, Arthur Rackman, and Maxfield Parrish. I can't imagine how I missed his work for so long. Third recommendation, another short story by Henry Kitchell Webster. This one is called How Jerry McLean Delivered the Goods, published in 1903. It is a wintertime story in the manner of Callie McKay, which Webster co-wrote with Samuel Merwin two years earlier. Uh, there's a link in the Patreon post to my blog post on Henry Kitchell Webster. The blog post includes links to the three novels that I've published by him. And the short story will be attached to your Patreon post or your email. Fourth recommendation, That Hamilton Woman, 1941. Vivian Lee and Laurence Olivier, directed and produced by Alexandra Corda. I said last week that I don't normally love historical fiction, but I do love this movie. Two larger-than-life characters who fall in love with each other's minds rather than merely outward appearances. Vivian Lee's face is breathtaking, and the director is very willing to let the camera dwell on it. There's also a satisfying emphasis on not making terms with dictators. This was made during World War II. Note that it may help you if you translate do your duty to defend things that you value deeply. Thank you for listening. To join the free Sunday recommendations list, visit the URL on screen or email me. You can also support me starting at $5 a month or follow me for free on Patreon, which will get you videos like this one, art-related recommendations, notes on upcoming art exhibitions, and much more. And check out dianedurantiwriter.com for hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, poetry, Central Park, and my other obsessions. Thank you for listening.